without dithering. We must march forward knowing fully well that the prize at the end of it is liberation, it is liberty, it is freedom, it is equality, it is civilization, it is electricity, running water, very good schools, and a place you can proudly call your nation, your country, you will fight for, you will die for, if called upon to do so. To come very close, to participate in this very offering with you, to receive the word of the Most High God, to be a man in the process, be able to understand what is happening, what is topical, what is relevant, and what is entirely consistent with the destruction of the damnable zoological republic. Our job is to make sure that Biafra comes. Some of you will stop. When Biafra comes, a very handful of us will continue. We will not stop until the name Nigeria ceases to exist. Our hatred for the zoo is, I don't know how to put it, it is innate, very, very part of, it is a part of our essence. The anger I feel each time I think about the zoo called Nigeria cannot be put into words. That is why it will be for me, I will pray to heaven, a personal accomplishment to ensure that the zoo does no, no longer exist. That that very animal enclave, that animal kingdom, that shapeless place created by white people, adopted by black fools and slaves, those of them that their brains don't quite function properly. We are here to ensure its destruction and the zoo will fall. When I mean that Nigeria will disintegrate, I am not just talking about the emergence of Biafra and then the remnants will continue as the zoo. God, Nigeria, the name Nigeria will no longer exist. The same way they removed us from every geography, every history book, here in London, they did it in Shoreditch, I hasten to add. Here they came and they paid the British to whitewash, to obliterate, to turn the bite of Biafra into the bite of Benin, to change everything about our people and our culture, forgetting that day the British came to our land and signed treaties with us, acknowledging that we are Biafrans. They did, not us. In the same vein, we shall make sure that the zoo called... Nigeria never ever exists. Biafra will come or everything will perish. Some we say it and some idiots we are commenting on an article written by one of the newspapers in the zoo uh, carrying some things that are said about the zoo coming to an end December of this very year and some Yorubas of course very flippantly as you would expect them to. We are making jest and mockery. Oh, they are looking for settlements. They want somebody to settle them. That's why they're you no know, typical. And this was what we warned against before. That is why sometimes we find it very, very difficult to penetrate international community because they think we are not serious, and why is that? Those that went before us, they compromised. The lesson that Biafran people should have learned is this. When you fight for freedom and you are genuine about it, you never stop. Ordinary Scotland is not fighting for freedom. They are fighting for political independence, and the two are not the same. Yet they have not stopped. Despite the fact that it was they, the Scottish, that handed themselves over to the British 300 years ago, the Scottish people voted to dissolve their own parliament and invite the English to come and take over. They still want their independence till tomorrow morning. What confuses humanity? People, our people don't know this. The reason why we have to work four, five, ten times harder to convince people, governments of the world, to believe, even to accept our message, is that they have never seen a group of people that started off fighting for their freedom, not political independence. The two are not the same. They have never seen a people who were basically fighting for their political survival, who gave all of that up to go and join those killing them. That was why Israel was very, very lukewarm about supporting any emerging Biafra agitation. They never wanted to, because we are not serious. Everybody keeps telling us, any day you people are serious, we will know. Right now you're not serious. All you do is you talk, you broadcast, you do all of these things. Any day you are serious, we will know. Therefore, it is incumbent on each and every one of us, it is our duty, our responsibility to ensure that we convince 
people around the world that this time around we will never ever stop until we get what we're looking for no matter the amount of people that will die in the process that we will never give up that is why we preach this gospel the way we do that is why we want our people to understand what we are going into to fight for your liberation and your freedom is not easy especially when lucifer himself is in charge of the opposition every known race on this very earth is against the emergence of Biafra. Not because they want to be, but because Satan has gone inside them to tell them, you have to be against these people. You must be. Because Biafra represents the coming of the kingdom of heaven upon the face of the earth, as prayed by Yeshua, that the Greeks called Jesus Christ. In the Lord's prayer it says, give us this day our deliver. People are praying for the coming of the kingdom of heaven upon the face of the earth, as it is in heaven. So shall it be here on this very earth. Jesus Christ was talking about Biafra. Some of you will not understand this, but there are some very anecdotal, I would say, because even the British denied the existence of the hard facts. It was them that drew up the longitude and the latitudinal lines. Latitude and longitude, the lines that run from the North Pole to the South Pole, from the East to the West of the world, trying to at least allow you to pinpoint with dead accuracy where any land, country, position is on this earth. They could not alter nature. They ran a meridian. They ran a meridian through London, not far from here, in Greenwich. That is called Greenwich Mean Time, not zero meridian. Even in mathematics, you start from zero to one to ten to infinity. But in the the counting of the at least longitude one hour is called Greenwich Mean Time. Their own meridian. Ours is the zero. Zero before them one. And then as you travel every hour around the world, it becomes one globe, making it 24 hours. I don't know. When the waters of the coast of Biafra land, zero longitude in essence, that is why they will not want you to come. That is why we will ensure that we come up because what we are doing is in complete and absolute fulfillment of a prophecy that these people will be set free. The kingdom of heaven will come down to this very earth. And this is Radio Biafra. My name is Nnam Kano. I am the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra across earth. The, in the, the director of Radio Biafra. Of man, it is of heaven. Therefore, nobody else remain a very faithful servant of the indigenous till my dying day. And uh, go on, and to the acquiescence and the leadership situated in the manners and people. We will fight all these demons and we will defeat all of them. Just what the end of this year, this year will no longer exist. As well. This year we must march. Out. And that there is Chukwa Biyama in heaven. That is the only province the whole world that Chukwa Biyama exists, mm-hmm. and that is God. This is where you continue. Our, our work, our feel a very divine mission is the truth and uncompromised the sovereignty of the Republic of Biyama on truth and honesty. On truth and honesty. Without truth and honesty, Biafra will not come. Other people tried in the past to come. <laughs> the answer is Biafra because they are time. All of us, our heart, worshipping white gods was prevalent in our land some date our people avoided what they were meant to do and started to indulge in a level of wickedness never before witnessed in the history of by labeling some people as outcast something that is abominable and reprehensible before deciding the whole Usu and the caste system and Lucifer. All this nonsense, how do you expect to be free when you have not set other people free? Zuckerberg looked at us and said, you people are not serious. When you're serious, we are serious. That is why we confess to the whole world that we will not leave any stone unturned in the pursuit of absolute and total half. Freedom for everybody. In Biafra, everybody must be free. When I mean free, I mean freedom from everything, everything that is not set on 
Because of that, they cannot get a job at Enugu. You must be insane. If somebody is qualified anywhere, there will be no reason. You can stay anywhere you like forever. Because, mind you, every child will receive the same level of education. It doesn't matter where they are. Every child will be a ward of the state. If they get into university, it will be pure, free, quality education. If we don't have money even to eat in Bumi, we will spend money on education. Important. We will not play with our children. Never, ever, ever care of. Very much so. Because the nonsense we endured in the zoo, we cannot afford to replicate. Um, this is Radio Biafra. Once the barrister is able to do so, but in the interim, I must inform each and every one of you, of course, your paper. People call me sometimes and ask me, oh, what is the telephone number of this? Get a pen and a piece of paper. You wait for them. You rather than people asking, where can I get the pen? And you take down these numbers. If anything, once you do our best, to, we will ensure that we provide all the answers. In the right direction, the eminent barrister has come to me. Before I go to the barrister, our radio Biafra is live and interactive at this very moment as we do every evening from here in London. Your call is plus four four one three three nine nine seven four. I repeat, plus four four one three three nine nine seven four. The barrister will please come back to me. I don't know what I was just touching. I've, I, I've, <laughs> I've, I've got him off. You know, um, unexpectedly or unceremoniously, he has done so. But I said, let me finish this with these numbers, and I will come to you. The numbers once again: plus four four two zero eight one three three nine nine seven four. If you are calling us from the zoo with an old telephone or the, world, the old phones, rather, it is zero zero nine four four. It's only in the zoo that you add nine before you dial anything else. Everywhere else in the world, it is zero zero four four. Only in the animal kingdom. Don't go you. That is where you put 009. Then 442081339974. The other number is plus 447831308376. This is our studio line. Incidentally, also, it is our line for Tango, for Viber, and for WhatsApp as well. Should you, as some people are already doing, wishing to send us any messages if any of them is nice i'll read them out tango also on this very studio line plus four four seven eight three one three zero eight three seven six we have a line of inquiry at home if you want to buy petrol for any of our generators five of them are on this evening five they consume petrol the number to call to support to inquire to find out what we are doing is for those Nine dedicated members at home who job. Well, and the gift that they are working very, very hard that our movement at home is running as smoothly as it should. There are those we cannot give you your names. They are working very hard, please. Anything you can do to support them, to help them, please do so. Ordinary calling card will do. Ordinary data for them to continue to meet us every blessed day, please also call this number 0909077. Also, and very, very important. We are teaching you how to be charitable. Somebody is Tenugu, but he's not an Enugu indigenous. But don't come to us if you address them. Good evening, uh, fellow uh, peer friends. Wherever you are, East, West, North, or South, we start every day. We give you the same message. We are never fed up talking to you because we always have this as it is. We believe in the restoration of the Afro, and that's why we do what we're doing. We couldn't lay back like others, but the selected few that are piloting this particular program are well informed of what they should do and how they should do time, and that's why we are working tirelessly, making sure that every Biafran hears this news so that you will not say, I did not get the opportunity to hear what you guys are doing, or I did not get the opportunity to what you're making. Every day we talk to you, we are ensuring that Radio Biafra goes at every level in this world so that our people will be well informed before the restoration of Biafra because every boy is not for big individuals. And this is the efforts all of us are making here, ensuring that we preach 
to you every day, morning and night. AMPN, Eurobars, march to those who can never agree that some of you will be there. They have planned all the things that all the things they're going to do. Uh, once the result is out, um, congratulate him and say, uh, "You must tread very." I don't think you will, and you will not. At the end of it, I will tell you. Did I tell you so? There is no. Forget about few of our. The Yoruba man during a press briefing in Lagos on Tuesday urged the federal government to ensure that the privatization process was transparent and open to both local and international bidders with requisite technical knowledge and financial muscle to transform the ailing refineries. He said, I said the solution going to be transparent compared to international bidders. Or person just saw before he left office 24 hours before he went. They would be something. Now Jonathan is trying to follow suit. You must not sell our refineries. If you sell them, you are wasting your time.